Hi, my name is Henrik Gerardo. I'm a musician and today, my friends, we're gonna rank and analyze every opening from Jujutsu Kaisen thus far. Okay, before I start analyzing the song, I'm gonna start off by just listening to the song. So let's do this. Okay, you know what? That intro, those two sound effects, really, really cool. Listen. So we have one kind of kind of a drone sound uh, right listen uh, but then we have like the then we have a more kind of uh, percussion instrument going tick, 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 right listen we have like an a pre intro leading us into the intro then we have the intro and then it pauses and here we have the intro riff so structurally it's very great already yeah the bass is doing a great job here oh this is really cool actually i know that i have reacted to this song before maybe have i reacted to it twice i don't know i don't know i i, I didn't vibe a hundred percent with this song at first uh, but now I actually really see the charm in everything I have heard a lot of anime openings that have a similar template instrumentation wise they have the electrical guitars they have the bass they have the riffs they don't nail it like this song this song really does the genre of a stereotypical cliche anime opening really 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 good because there's so many unique elements like like that do you see it? Th 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 that little thing that I okay I don't know but there's some kind of filter here which I really like this is so good okay very obvious pre-chorus here great chorus this is so good okay now nah, this is so good I really like this mmm the bass movement is good that is good the bass is so so funky here listen we have this chromaticism in the bass line and it adds so much funk so it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like a stereotypical whatever bass line and it has rhythm and it, it, it has charm that bass with the riff the riff is great in itself, Pro uh, probably, the riff in itself is great, but the bass here adds a lot of charm to the riff played with the electrical guitar here. And this is also great, I'm gonna tell you why. First of all here, great melody, and it's a little bit off beat, right? Do you hear that? It's like... Dun, 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 dun. It's not like dun, 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 dun. it's not like on beat exactly. It's like so. It has so much charm to it. The melody here. Uh, it's not a great melody. It's like. Yeah, it isn't that catchy. It, since it's played in this rapping kind of fashion, the melody doesn't need to be complex. And we're singing here, so we need to think of the melody as in relation to the vocals, right? And then we repeat it here for the second part of the verse. But now with uh, the bass and the drums and everything without the distorted uh, effects as well and without the filters. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could argue that the transition here needs to be a little bit better, but nah, they, uh, they use a lot of transition markers all over the song, so it would be maybe a little too much to add a, a different kind of transition here, because even from verse 1 to verse 2, they have a transition, right? Here, this is the transition. Bam, 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 where everything like that's the transition H helps us uh, kind of 
pay, pay attention to a new part of the verse. So, I mean, they don't have anything really here. Yeah, they just changed the drumming style and everything. So I'm kind of shocked that they made a melody with so many notes. But it sounds catchy. Because there's so many parts. Look, look structurally. Okay, we're gonna analyze this melody right here. So that repeats two times, right? So, so it's like that's one entity, and then we have that's its own thing, and then we have like the third part, which is that's it in it. Yeah, that's its own thing. So already in this pre-course we have three different parts. We have part number one, part number two. And then we have and the last part. Now I feel like this part here gets a little bit too much. Uh, but they're making an outro so it can can kind of be justified but here I feel like the I feel like here when they here the notes are a little bit too much and maybe all over the place so it can be quite for new listeners that hear the song for first for the first time this part is not as catchy as the first part of the course I think this song has a lot of unique elements to it uh, because of the great transitions they have kind of unique sound effects they use this filter in the first verse maybe my only concern is in the last bit of the chorus where I feel like there are too many notes and it's going and it's going too fast at too many places it's too much variation in the last bit of the chorus so that's the only issue I have I would say this is an A I feel like there's a little bit I feel like there's a, some things that can be a little bit better intro I guess this part here is pretty catchy. Beautiful voice. I, I feel like he should have utilized his beautiful range uh, more. Maybe uh, in the intro as well. The guitar movement. But it, it, it's great. Mm, maybe this isn't my style of music. The melody doesn't hook me at all. Uh, I feel like you got the first opening of much better melodies. Hmm, interesting pre chorus. I mean, I guess. I can say this this part is fire. Because th that's like. I feel like his voice is beautiful. I feel like he should have sung less notes. And. Uh, Utilize his beautiful range, like the high notes he can sing. Because th this sounds beautiful, funky bass, like we got in uh, the first opening. Yeah, th these power chords in the intro here, they have mixed the song in a way that the power chords here in the intro take most of the space. I would rather have uh, a calmer guitar section here and the melody not being with this filter. Yeah, I think I just don't vibe with this this strumming pattern. Here's a aspect you can think of when uh, talking about uniqueness. In the first opening, we had a lot of cool sound effects and kind of different instruments that transitioned us to different parts of 
the composition. But here it's like there's nothing. I didn't hear a melody besides the the ending of the intro here. That melody was like the only melody that was stuck in my head. The biggest problem with this song for me was the melody. There weren't any really great melodies in the song. I would rank this one D. I would say I would give it a thing. First of all, the intro in itself. This cool sound effect, movie sound effect. But I like uh, the, the electrical guitar playing in the higher end of the register. Cool glitch effect. Transition, listen. Do you hear that? Great melody. Great melody. Repetition of a great melody is what makes something catchy. So we get really familiar with Da -da -da -da. Again, great melody writing. One note difference. But that's how you repeat. If you have a great melody, if you have a great melody, please, please repeat it. This is another part. Oh, beautiful high notes. Mmm, great outro. That is so good! Okay, let's start analyzing some stuff. So it's like... So we have some kind of D chord going into a dominant 5 to a 1. I love this instrumentation! Wait, listen to this! I love the piano here, it's so subtle. By the way, do you pick up on the muted guitar? Ah, this part is so great! Because we have heard the melody before, but listen to this. So we add, what do we add? We add the percussion now. But we add this... This snapping of the fingers. And the bass! The bass is kind of responding to the melody. Listen to this. That is, sh that is cool as shit. Listen to this. Some slapping bass and then distorted guitar strumming. And now, so good. Oh, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good, damn. Flames, flames, absolute flames. Oh, that is so good. The chorus, fire melody. Verse, fire melody. Uh, yeah, fire. I would say the instrumentation is quite basic, but, 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 they utilize uh, the instruments in such a great way, in such creative ways, that I can't even be mad. I'm like, yeah, it's bass, it's drums, it's electrical guitar, most basic shit ever, but I don't care, because they use it in a great, great, great way. I would say that this is solid A. Solid, solid A. Really, really good. I'm a special... Ooh! I died. So good. Listen to that. Listen to it. The kind of reddish, the kind of orange uh, visuals, and then out of nowhere, this freaking bass, this freaking drum kick. Do, 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 do. That weird, like, synthesized vocal melody. Oh, that's so sick! Oh, and the funny thing is, this is a lot less notes than previous riffs. But it doesn't matter. Oh no, I really wanted to hear one more. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, well, whatever. The 
base there compliments those there two, there are two things I want to talk about there first is the gliding base that adds so much uh, nuance or creative adding a lot of bending like instead of playing it like Instead of playing it something like that, they bend the shit out of that note. Like this. And of course there's a lot of distortion on, on that electrical guitar. Makes it sound a lot cooler. <laughs> I would say that this is an S for me. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you had a great time here. Don't forget to leave any suggestions to me in the comment section below. And yes, I will see you guys next time. Bye.